Welcome, this is Mike, a project manager with MinState.com, and today I'll be presenting a video tutorial on the Coin Identifier application. First of all, let's cover a few of the basics. The website's compatible with desktop, tablet, and mobile devices and their browsers. There's no need for a special application, just go right to the site. From your favorite device, open up a browser and type in the URL address MintState.com, and then the site's homepage will be displayed. As a guest user, you can review coin collecting articles, tutorials, and run some of the applications. But most applications require a free account through a simple registration process. To create a free account, just go to the user menu and down to free registration, where the simple registration form will then appear. After you fill in a few pieces of information and you click the create a user account button at the bottom, you are done. You have an account. You're ready to use all the features and applications of the site. All right, so let's move on to the application tutorial. To launch the coin identifier, you can do so by going to the menu under applications, and there's an option for coin identifier application. Or you can use the application quick links below and click the coin identifier button. Here you're brought to the first page, step one of the coin identification process, where there are some notes on how to best use the system. Included in those notes is uh, some image requirements. The system requires that uh, the image that you upload be at least a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels, that you have good lighting, that the image is not blurry, that it's in focus, and that you align it as instructed on each of the steps. Currently we are trained and recognize 40 of the most common US coin types. Um, we will later add different uh, commemorative single-year designs, proofs, gold coins, and so forth. There's also articles about how to take better pictures with your smartphone and some other details about the system as well. But to start the process, you click the Start Application button. The initial step for the identifier is to upload your coin's obverse image. You do so by clicking the Upload button and I'm going to select as our first example a slab coin and the image will upload into the system it could take several seconds and it depends on the image size but once it's done it will appear in the template right over here scroll down a little so we can see all the controls the use of the template is to get the coin edges at the red circle so to do so, I'm going to zoom in on this until I think it's close. Zoom in a little more. As you can see, I'm using the mouse for positioning the coin and the buttons for zooming. You can also use the vertical and horizontal controls if you'd like. If you're using a mobile phone, you can use the finger gestures of uh, moving it with one finger. Uh, the uh, pinch and uh, expand with two fingers and a two finger rotate um, instead of using these controls. You can also use these controls. All right, we look pretty good there, right there. We're going to do the image check. Now what this does is the system is looking to see that your image is in focus, that there's enough uh, bit depth um, um, contrast on the uh, image for recognizing detail on the coin. And also that from edge to edge of coin, it is a thousand pixels at this point. It did pass and we could go to step two, but since I don't have the reverse of this, I'm going to clear the image and we're going to upload and some images where I have both the uh, obverse and reverse. I'll go in and I have some Morgans here. Look at the obverse. I'll pick a grade 20. Now, if you're using your mobile phone, since it has a camera built in, you have the option of taking a picture right on your phone. You don't have to save it as a file, and it'll upload just as you saw right here. This one looks like it's uh, in position. Let's double check. I'm going to use the full screen option. And what this will do is build the image with the template on top of it, and you can get a close up view of uh, your alignment and that all looks good. So I'm going to recheck the image. Every time you move it it's going to check the image and then continue to step two. Step two is almost identical to step one except this time we're going to upload the coins reverse image. 
So I click the upload button and let me find the reverse. I think I picked a grade 20 before, so I'll do the same. And the coin is uploaded. It looks pretty good. I'm going to check the image and I can continue to the results. The identifier results are determined by your images and the artificial intelligence of the system. And the system determined it was a Morgan dollar. If we scroll down a little you can see the original images you uploaded and you want to compare your image to the template or to a Morgan dollar and make sure they match. The system's correct in the upper 90 percentiles at this point, and with additional samples and training, it will get better and better. But if it were wrong, just like the instructions say, uh, you can uh, go through different coin types to try to find a match. And once you do, you can put in the information of the, of the date in the mint. But it was a Morgan dollar, so I'm going to go back to that. And here it says the date should be located right there. It is. It's 1891. The dates that are going to be available are only dates that a Morgan dollar was produced. So I'm going to select 1891 and it says the mint is right here. Well, there is no mint mark, which means it's a Philadelphia mint. So I'm going to pick P for Philadelphia. Once all the values are filled in, a button below called Coin Value Information becomes enabled. And when you click on it, it'll go to the Coin Value Lookup application and display the information as far as fair market value pricing for the coin at different grades. Now most experienced coin collectors don't need assistance in determining a US coin type and can normally determine a grade by look. But there are many coin collectors that can use this assistance and it's free to use. If you scroll down a little you can start the identifier application again. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it educational. There's also many other free applications here at Mint State. Please go check them out. Remember to subscribe, like, and notify so you'll know when all the new applications and features are first available. Thank you for supporting MintState.com.